We're ready at all the angles, man. He can't. They can't stop us here. Oh, we're on Moscow. We are on Moscow, boys. I repeat, we're on Moscow. Just give that an old Barack Obama. Jeez, I didn't even notice us taking this battle here. I don't even think it matters, dude. What is up, guys? It's me, Absu Habibi, bringing back the Persia campaign that we have been playing in the last couple of days. Um, yeah, our last episode we ended it off, I was saying that this could potentially turn into a one faith because of how absolutism works and how we can start snowballing out of control since we have such a strong economy and such a, snow a strong army. Last time we left there was a coalition. Um, all I did was build to force limit and the coalition disbanded so we no longer have a coalition. And as you can see in the map mode, um, our AE is dying down. We even had AE all the way here in Africa. It's all dying down, and um, which is good because we can now focus on uh, the Indian nations without anyone kill it, uh, attacking us. Um, but before we do that, I need this, in this administrative idea right here. I don't care about the rest of this idea group. I'll complete it, but... I really need core creation cost. Um, that was the biggest thing I was lacking is I'm using so much of my admin power uh, just on coring. Uh, you can see here that I'm not behind in tech, but still it's not something that I want to be spending so much admin and focusing so much on admin just so we can core uh, provinces. So while we're getting the idea, we're going to keep the war train going, but we're going to just do another humiliate rivals on Vijayanagar. And there's actually dudes in our territory right away, so we can uh, go for them. We can wait the next month tick so we can get our morale back up. But yeah, we can just attack them. Oh my god, it's no contest. We have three more morale than them. Still, our army quality is unmatched. Halfway to our great hike, they finally decided they want to piece us out for show strength. Which is gives us enough of our points that we needed. We also now have the new uh, the adaptability idea in the administrative ideas, which gives us core creation costs. Which means we're ready to hit this button and start warring people for land again. This is probably going to be our quickest war yet. They're showing no resistance, and yeah, just like that, without a single battle. The war is over and we grow. We're now going to start our first war in China. We're not going to do much. We're just going to take some land. We're not going to start going crazy here. It's just I noticed that none of these guys here have aggressive expansion on me. Except for Oria, of course, because we ate the entire south side of their country. But Shun has zero. Ming has zero. Yi, Wu, all of these. And I want to take advantage of this broken up uh, China as much as possible. We casually have 51k men on top of Han Zhao right now. Very casual, very very casual. Our growth in China is gonna be very slow as our main focus and our main place of getting AE is finishing off India, which we kind of want to do in the next 30 years. But in China we're just slowly slowly growing here and that shows in how we're eating land here. We're only getting our claims and that's it, we're gonna back off. And then we come back in about 10 years, we come back and take more land. Nice, I really like our name placement. Very, very good name placement. That's a little better. Okay, our next big war is going to be against Bengal, Sirhind, Malwa. As you can see that they're all allied to each other. So this is actually a really nice um, alliance network that we can fight right into. So what we're going to do is we're going to go this, 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 cleansing of heresy, and declare war. Their numbers, uh, they're about like half of ours almost. So it should be, shouldn't be too easy of a war. That also can let us reduce our corruption and now we're back to zero corruption and we're making a bunch more money, which is good as always. Ooh, we're about to catch a Bengal army here, well compared to the AI. Like, the other AIs have 4 morale, Bengal has 4.8 morale. Pog. Finally have a big battle. All three of them together, they can reinforce it. Come on guys, get in there, reinforce it, reinforce it! We have our own reinforcements coming in. Oh, there we go. Good job. Good job, guys. 
Reinforce your armies. But here comes my reinforcements. Got a whopping six war score from that. Nice. We've trapped you. You are surrounded. Alright, Sarhind will peace out. Get them out. Now we go focus on Bengal. Core all. And then we peace with Bengal. And then we peace Malwa. Just like that. Very, very nice. Funnily enough, uh, Bengal, who got into another war with Orisa, since <laughs> we cut them up, they've been asking us for military access, and I'm just like, no, I'm not going to give you that. And now they're using their fleet to uh, send their army to Orisa. <laughs> using the religious center of trade mechanic, we are converting right now four different provinces at the same time, not including our four uh, missionaries. If we release Nejd uh, from over here and then release maybe another in Europe, a highly religious country in Europe, I can't really think of one on top of my head, but we release Nejd, we make him Shia, we give him all of Africa, then we get um, someone in Europe with very good religious ideas and convert them and then get give them most of Europe. Then around, if we can finish conquering this in 50 years, so all of this area needs to be conquered in 50 years, we then go east and we book it to uh, through North Africa and then we fight Spain, France, Great Britain, take all of their colonies so we have to fully annex them um, in about like 30 years, 1730. Then we tell uh, we force convert all of our colonies. Oh God, it'll be cutting it really close. To give you an idea of how many manufacturers we have, every blue province here is a province with a manufacturer in it. All the cross provinces are provinces that we are currently building a manufacturer in. So in the end, we're going to probably end up with like a hundred, yeah, about a hundred manufacturers. And of course, manufacturers spawns in Bengal, a nation with two manufacturers in their entire country. We need to fire court and country. But essentially, our max absolutism is not high enough. It's 69 right now. Nice. But yes, it's 69. It's not high enough. We need it to get to 100 ASAP. And the fastest way to do that is by firing court and country. Which, to do that, we need to have uh, stability less than 3. So, and high unrest. And to be at war. So we need to now begin a war cycle that just will not end. And there we go. Finally, we have fired conflict of core and country. We're going to, of course, go with I am the state. And this disaster is very important. It takes about 10 years. Well, it takes a minimum of 10 years to finish. I'm so sorry for the border gore. I promise I'll fix it soon. I also just realized how weird the assortment of allies I have. Pasai, Ethiopia, Spain, Austria, Sweden. Bengal again stacking up the men these guys i've been taking land from them and siphoning their income and they still somehow come up with 70k men i'm actually proud of them i thought they were done they don't give up and we finished court and country sick we right now make 17 admin points a month our borders are starting to look a lot nicer we just need a couple more war cycles and we'll conquer what we need to conquer um, and for the first time ever in my life, I took espionage ideas. I don't know, maybe it's just too late at night for me. I should probably just go to sleep. But I picked espionage ideas, and not only did I pick it, I put like a bunch of Diplo already into it. Um, <laughs> the only reason why I picked it was for the aggressive expansion impact, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think that it was worth it. I've also converted a lot of territory. It looks like a hand reaching into China. We're slowly converting them. I just realized that Russia got beat up by Sweden, Burgundy, and Austria in a war. They made them release Perm. They lost some territory. So I thought it now would be a good opportunity to uh, take some land from them. For this war, we're going to use Imperialism CB on Hekshi, and then we're going to co-belligerent Russia, and then call the war. 
They might look menacing in the numbers, but then you see their cannons and then you're just like, okay. I actually prepared for this war many years ago by building level 6 forts on many mountain provinces that border with Russia. We just stack wiped up here against the Hakshi. And here we're engaging them on mountains, but as you can see again, these Russians don't know how to build cannons. They have five cannon regiments compared to our 30. And we stack wipe on mountains. Meanwhile, we have this stack over here going for Moscow. One province at a time. This battle is way more risky. Uh, th I didn't realize that they actually had cannons this time. But I think we are reinforcing on time. Yeah, it doesn't even matter actually. Wait, what? Our quality is just too high. Our army quality is too high. Oof, the ba that battle seemed a little too close for my liking. Ah yes, the level 6 fort. No way you breach this on the first siege cycle. Our great Moscow migration is actually going pretty well. We're ready at all the angles, man. He can't, they can't stop us here. Oh, we're on Moscow. We are on Moscow, boys. I repeat, we're on Moscow. Just give that an old Barrage Obama. Jeez, I didn't even notice us taking this battle here. I don't even think it matters, dude. Moscow has been sieged down. God. Oh, God. Where did this stack come from? I think I might be taking my first lost battle. Oh, what the? Again? Dude, I shouldn't, this shouldn't even be close. And I'm winning. I'm winning. Yeah, dude, our, our general Shah Rukh Jalil, Jalili is beating Yong Wang, dude. Take that, Yong Wang. We have the bigger Wang today. Big PP, big PP. Actually, we're gonna get some PP from this for be taking land from Russia, who is our rival. Once was our ally, but as all things have to come to an end, so did our alliance. Big PP, big PP. Just one more carpet siege and this war is over, pretty much. Well, the war with Russia, at least. I haven't done anything to Hakshi. Now I'm just straight up taking battles without generals, dude. Who cares? Apparently Russia doesn't. Is everything okay, Russia? You seem to not be trying. Okay, now I put one of my best generals on this army. No more messing around. Pretty sure we could stack wipe. We'll be really close. Ooh, depends on the next... Ooh, we just roll a zero. We're not stack wiping here. Our sick general, I was hyping him up and he rolls a zero. Oh god. Ah, yes. Russia is finally down to accept our very generous and modest peace deal. Yes, I'll take it. Persia. Hmm. Yes, this is Persia right here. Just like that, boys. We eat up Shagatai and we fix our name placement. For the first time... Our name looks sexy. We're a nice big fat boy. Look at that boys, Persia. Almost all of China, almost all of India. We got a little bit of stragglers. One more war here, one more war there. And that should be it. I don't think we can do a one faith anymore, but um, a world conquest definitely seems possible in the last 100 years. Where you, you can expand so fast um, and for the, all the new world, except for Brazil, for all of the New World, all we have to do is um, conquer the colonizer. And when we get all of these New World pro uh, new world uh, col uh, colonial nations. But yeah, I don't think we're going to do a one faith. This is our progress on the faith. We've converted many provinces to our true faith, including in China. And uh, India is basically, there's like no more Hinduism left. Saj. 
I actually can't believe that we started as a one province miner, as you guys remember. We started as Ardabil, and this is how we look like now. And that's not where we're gonna stop. We got we we got a lot of business to do. Uh, well, we gotta finish cleaning this up. That should take like twenty years. But after that, we got we got business to do in the west. Can't leave these guys just doing whatever they want, right? Um, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's the great powers list. Here's the religion. I don't think we're going to be doing a w one faith. Yeah, that's not going to happen. But a world conquest might happen. World conquest might happen. We might have to do some truce breaking in the end. But yeah, with max absolutism right now, we can conquer so much. All right. That's it, guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.